what's going on guys, it's Jay Mass, and I'm back again with another dope New England adventure. So I'm really excited for today's van exploration. This is a bit of a last minute one. I actually didn't have this spot planned for today. I was originally gonna go to another abandoned spot, but um, I ended up coming here and I'm excited because this place looks so dope. So a quick backstory, I'm currently in the state of Maine right now. I had another abandoned spot queued up for today. Unfortunately, that didn't work out for various reasons, but I didn't wanna give up just yet. I did a bit of research and I found this abandoned spot. It's a place I'd never heard of before until today, and I'm excited I came here. So I'm currently in the town of Wyndham, Maine. It's a town that's northwest of the city of Portland. And already, as you can see, this place is massive. I'm currently in an abandoned factory called Keddy Mill. Now, from what I found out, Keddy Mill was built sometime in the late 1800s. Looks like it was probably 1875 when this thing was built. And it was used for many, many decades, well over 100 years, until it officially closed down in 1997. Now, throughout those years, this place manufactured many things. Uh, wood, paper, most uh, infamously steel. And because it manufactured so many goods and products here, there was one important thing I need to mention. Keddy Mill is a super fun site. You might not know what a super fun site is. Well, basically it's a program set by the Environmental Protection Agency. The EPA is basically a major conservation agency that focuses on um, you know, the environment here in the United States. And one of those aspects is environmental cleanup. And unfortunately, a lot of factories like Keddy Mill here are pretty hazardous. So this is a very hazardous and dangerous abandoned factory with a lot of toxic chemicals and stuff. I honestly strongly would not advise you come here. I know I don't normally say that in these videos, but I really would not recommend you come here. It is a super dangerous, toxic and hazardous site, um, basically designated a uh, super fun site by the Environmental Protection Agency. I'm here because I'm stupid, so don't do what I do. I just love urban exploration. I want to show this off to you guys. Also, I don't think it has much time left. It appears as though this place is going to be demolished soon, so I want to document it before that happens. But nonetheless, we're going to be checking out Keddy Mill here in the town of Wyndham, Maine. A super fun site set to be demolished soon that manufactured many things, most notably steel products. Now, if you guys love urban exploration, checking out abandoned sites, travel, and New England, I'm always doing that on this channel, so feel free to subscribe to the channel, or you can follow me on Instagram, at jmassofficial, that's at jmassofficial. Now let's go check out Keddy Mill here in Wyndham, Maine. I'll give you guys more of the history and stuff. I'm just excited to check this place out. A bit of a last minute urban exploration here in the great state of Maine. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's get exploring and check out Keddy Mill here in the town of Wyndham, Maine. Now already you can see this place is absolutely massive, reminiscent of many other abandoned mills and factories I've explored on the channel. I mean, I actually just got done wrapping up another abandoned mill exploration. I posted that last week. And uh, seems we've brought ourselves to another one, although this one is a lot bigger. And as I mentioned, a lot more dangerous and hazardous. I really do want to harp on that point. This place is a super fun site designated by the EPA. It is really toxic and dangerous here. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm just doing it for historical preservation and documentation. I highly would not recommend you come here. Um, but it's going to be really cool to check out, though. I'm really excited to see what this place has in store. I'm already kind of wandering around right now, as you can see, and this place is massive. I'm genuinely shocked I never heard about this. I only found out about today. It was a spur-of-the-moment find. You know, I did some online research, stumbled upon it, and I'm glad I did. This place is huge. So I'm just going to kind of wander around, show you what's going on. And uh, as I do, I'll give some more historical context and background information. So as I mentioned, this place opened up in 1875. Now there had been a lot of mill presences here um, before 1875, but this specific building we're in right now was first built in 1875 with later additions being built throughout the next couple decades. Now, when this first opened up, it manufactured wood, you know, pulp, paper, all that kind of stuff. But uh, throughout the years, many different organizations and uh, manufacturers took hold here. As I did mention, the most infamous one was the uh, metal manufacturers, steel. They manufactured steel, took a lot of scrap metal. And um, I, I don't know exactly what they produced, but they produced different products here using that steel. Now by the 90s, this place was more of a storage facility. And it was in 1997 when it was a storage facility that it officially closed down. 
So this place has uh, ceased operations and been closed and abandoned since 1997. Now, I don't really know what we're gonna find here. I'm just gonna kind of wander around and see what happens. I don't think there will be much here because it is a super fun site. And uh, even if it is, you know, it kind of goes without saying, but I'm not gonna be touching a lot of stuff. I don't know what kind of chemicals these things are laced with. Uh, we do see some pretty cool machines here. Check this out, a lot of pipes, faucets. I assume this was some sort of steam engine or machine. And then got a lot of tanks right here. I also wanna bring up again, there's a lot of graffiti here. So this clearly isn't a very unknown spot. A lot of locals come here to tag graffiti. It's pretty apparent, which uh, shocks me because again, I never heard of this place, but clearly it's a very well-known urbex spot here in Maine. Yeah, this place is huge. So I think what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna quickly look over here. I know I peeked through really briefly. And then I think we're gonna make our way over to this main room. But let's see what's going on over here really quick. This uh, first side of Keddy Mill. So this I believe is some sort of loading dock. They probably had trucks coming in here, you know, loading and unloading products, maybe even train cars. I don't see any railroad tracks, but you know, since this was built in the late 19th century and was used throughout the 20th century, I can't help but imagine there were probably trains here because a lot of factories and mills utilize train power for moving their products. And you can even kind of see it with these things up here. I don't really know what these are called, but these huge metal uh, things, I don't even know what to call them. Kind of cool. But this does look like some sort of either train loading site or a truck dock. Basically, my point is I think this is where they loaded and unloaded products onto vehicles, you know, for distribution. But this place is massive. This is uh, one portion of the exterior. You can see a lot of the windows have been destroyed. I mean, this thing has been sitting abandoned for a couple decades now. All right, I think we're gonna head back in and go down to that big room. Now, this place seems that it has many levels. You can actually kind of see right here, there's a basement level directly below us. So we're not on the lowest level right now. There's a basement level. I think we're on the ground floor. It also looks like from out there, there's a top floor. So maybe a three, well, two top floors and a basement. That's kind of my guess. Oh, I should also mention, uh, there's a, you can't see it right now, but there's a river. Uh, this factory, Keddy Mill, is right along the Presumpscot River here in Windham, Maine. And that was the river where it utilized and harnessed energy for its uh, manufacturing processes. Okay, this place is absolutely massive. And uh, funny enough, as I walk around, this kind of reminds me of yet another super fun site that I visited on this channel. Yes, this is officially my second super fun site on the JMS YouTube channel. The things I do for you guys, right? Um, this reminds me of Iron Horse Park in Bilreka. If you've seen my video on Iron Horse Park, this main room right here might look very familiar to the main room in Iron Horse Park. Again, also a super fun site. <laughs> designated by the EPA. I don't know what it is that draws me to these very hazardous places, but something about it. This is cool though, there's a lot of cool stuff laying around. Look at all these graffitied pieces of uh, metal. I don't know what these are. Not sure. I don't think, I mean, these were probably for like shipping things or storing things, but man, this place is huge. I also want to direct your attention to the ceiling right here. Look at that. I mean, some parts of the ceiling are intact, like right here, but then you have parts like this that are just destroyed. And you can already see that snow has been coming down. I mean, it's uh, early December as I film this, you know, a bit of snow already. And uh, I can only imagine during the heavy snow months that this place gets filled. Jeez. It's also very damp and moist in here. Water trickling down everywhere. I'm sure that the water spreading around the toxic chemicals sure doesn't help. Yeah, pretty cool though. All right, we're still making our way down this main room right here. I don't know exactly what this room was used for. You know, I don't know what processes were going on in here. I don't know if this was manufacturing or shipping or, I mean, I really don't know, but this room is massive. And I think this might be the biggest room in the building. Looks like we might actually be able to peer onto the river though. So let's check that out. Oh, look at that. 
right over there, that's where we first were. You got those big metal things. I really don't know what those are called. I wish I did. And uh, that's another portion of the exterior. That big room we peeked in earlier down there, um, that must lead to the basement. And that's not sure what that was. It looks like trucks probably also went there. Uh, kind of cool. So that's one portion of the exterior. And then I think over here, we can actually see the Presumpscot River, I think, because I can hear it. I can hear the water rushing. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we can. So this right here, the Presumpscot River, here in Windham, Maine, this is the river that Keddy Mill harnessed for water power. Check that out. Right on the edge. If you're wondering why designating this place as a super fun site and getting the EPA involved is important, think about the fact that this place is right next to a river. Think about all of the hazardous and toxic waste that's basically trickling into that river, spilling out into various other towns and cities throughout Maine. And this is just one of thousands of Superfund sites designated by the EPA. These things are not just hazardous to people, but to the environment around it. I remember reading online that this place, you know, in this area, they actually found traces of toxic chemicals in the soil. That's right, the soil and the ground had traces of chemicals, so it's very dangerous. What's going on in here? Another big room right here. Again, a lot of graffiti. This place is tagged to the brim. Some sort of big machine here. I'm not sure what this is. I actually thought this was a garbage disposal for a second. Or maybe not. Maybe it's some sort of a steam or coal engine. I'm sure you guys know by now I am horrible with industrial equipment and machinery. <laughs> I don't know any of that stuff. I'll just show you one more view of the river right here. I think we can get a better view. Uh, check that out. Yeah, here's a much better view. You can actually see the river coming right underneath Keddie Mill. So I can only imagine the amount of waste that's been seeping into this river. Uh, it's disgusting. It's, it's horrible to think about. I rarely ever say this because I don't like the demolition of abandoned spots. But this is a rare case where I do think it's probably needed. Uh, this place is just doing more harm than good sitting here like this. So I do support the demolition, but I also think it should be preserved and documented before that happens. Yo, it's my boy, Jerry. I do have to say a lot of really cool looking graffiti here. I love graffiti that has high effort and quality put into it. And I am seeing quite a bit of that here at Keddie Mill. Super cool. Yeah, so those were some of the big rooms. I think we're going to start peering into some of these smaller rooms. I really don't know what to expect here. I'm obviously going to be safe and careful, but let's just keep digging around and see what we find. Would be cool if we find some cool uh, documents and records here. All right, what is going on over here? A lot of scrap wood. I'm seeing quite a bit of stairs going up to the upper levels, but I want to hold off on that. I kind of want to do the uh, ground levels first. Oh, that's uh, the bridge crossing over the river, right over there. Oh my God, I gotta be, I gotta be super careful walking around this place. So much crap lying around. I don't even know what it is. I'm sure there's probably asbestos here too. Ugh. Again, do not come here. <laughs> Can't stress it enough. Okay, I wanted to try to peer in this room. It looked like it's some sort of office space. Yeah, this looks like it was someone's office and I see a lot of documents and papers lying around. I'm gonna peer inside really quick because you know how I love those things. I wanna see if there's any uh, interesting documents or if it's just all gibberish. So these are all just random pieces of paper. Nothing that seems like it's instrumental to Keddy Mill though. From what I'm reading, I might spend a little more time. Oh, look at this. Did we just hit the treasure trove? <laughs> Look at all these things. I really want to be careful about what I touch, but I'm going to view it really quick. Oh yeah, I got some phone books. This is for the Portland, Maine area. As I said, Wyndham, Maine, not too far away from the city of Portland, Maine's largest city. And it looks like they got some phone books. I mean, keep in mind this place closed down in 1997 before cell phones became widespread. So uh, memorizing phone numbers was paramount. <laughs> 
Eh, just looks like this is random stuff. Magazines, newspaper clippings. You got a microwave manual. Or TV, I can't even tell. Yeah, nothing, nothing too uh, related to what we're looking at. That's kind of a shame. I do remember at uh, Iron Horse Park in Bill Ricker, they had a lot of related stuff. That was cool to see. But I don't think they have that here at Keddy Mill. What a shame. All right, I do want to peer in this room right here. And then I think after that, we might head upstairs, see what's going on. I do see these big stairs right here, which are piquing my interest. All right, what's going on in here? Not sure what this is. Some little uh, shack right here. That's bizarre. Maybe, maybe it was a bathroom at some point. Now, this is interesting. Look at this. Some very strange machine. Every time I uh, point my camera to a machine, if you know what it is or recognize it, please let me know in the comments. I'd really be interested. Oh, here's the bath. Okay, this is the bathroom right here. Got a urinal right there. Yeah, probably not gonna step in there, but yeah, bathroom right here. Um, looks like your average public bathroom because it's covered in graffiti and scribbles. I mean, when do you not see that? <laughs> And then I think this leads out to the main area where we started. Yep, this leads right out to the main area. Dope. Yeah, let's head upstairs, see what's going on. I'm excited to see what else Keddy Mill has in store. Okay guys, I'm heading up the stairs right now. We're going to the upper floor. I think this is the very top floor. I don't think there's another floor here. Yeah, you can see heading right up. Man, this place is dirty. This upper floor is even dirtier than the lower one. Jesus, look at all this. There's a lot of insulation lying around and I don't know if this insulation has asbestos. So I'm gonna be very careful about going near it. Looks like we've got some sort of workshop right here. This probably had a lot of tools, maybe metal and wood. And then again, the Presumpscot River. Maybe one of the most hazardous rivers in Maine. Who knows? It is pretty interesting to me that this mill manufactured so many different materials. When you look up the Keddy Mill online and you, you know, kind of research its history, you'll find a lot of information about its days as a steel manufacturer. They created many steel products. I think uh, their height was during the 60s and 70s. They took a lot of scrap metal and produced uh, different products with that metal. And it was during a lot of these processes, and I guess just well over a hundred years of manufacturing and doing factory work, that a lot of those chemicals kind of seeped out, you know, infested the area. Jeez, this place is huge. What is this, some sort of pulpit? Or lectern? <laughs> That's weird. It's like a speaker's thing. This place is huge. And right out there is the village of Wyndham. Huh. I gotta say though, much smaller area over here. I thought, for some reason, I thought the upper level would be a lot bigger. It's actually quite small up here. Maybe that main area we started in was the only part of the, uh, or maybe that main area we started in didn't have an upper level. Let's take a look. I think we can peer out here. Okay, yeah, it doesn't. I can, I can kind of peer through. No upper level on that part. It's just one giant room. Uh, this right here is the building we started in where I did the introduction. So damn, I guess the upper level's not that big. This is interesting. I wonder what this room was. Cool. Let's keep wandering around. All right, guys, I think we're gonna make our way over to the next part of the mill, which should be the basement. But um, as I make my way over, I want to tell you an interesting fact I just found out about. I was doing a little more research as I was wandering around, and I found out that in 1969, there was actually a serious oil-based fire that occurred here. Now, apparently the fire destroyed much of the buildings and rooms, um, but as I mentioned, that was in 1969 when the fire occurred, and the uh, mill didn't close down until 1997. So even after the large fire ravaged this place, uh, operations still continued. It sounds like shortly after the fire in 1974, a sheet metal um, recycler actually began operations here. But yeah, I just want to mention that there was once a fire here during peak operations in 1969. 
oil-based. So they were using a lot of oil at the time. Jesus place, so big. Uh, this appears to be the basement or one of the basements. I think the basement complex is pretty vast compared to the rest of the building. I was surprised by how, sh um, how small the upper level was, but the basement seems to be very big. This is where I assume a lot of the power and utilities were stored. I mean, considering that this mill is hovering over a river, they probably had a lot of power wheels and stuff, you know, to produce energy, electricity, all that kind of stuff. Steam. What's going on in here? And you will also notice a lot of these rooms I'm walking to are practically empty other than just random debris and rubble. Like this room, for example, just random shit. Concrete, wood, <laughs> random plunger. Um, not much machinery or, uh, you know, relevant items left behind. It's mostly just scrap and debris. This place is huge, though. Check that out. This is the front of the building right over here. I'll just give you a brief look. I know it's very sunny. Yeah, this is the front. This is actually the main room where we started. We started inside there. Huge room. Let's, uh, let's keep walking around. I really don't know what to expect. Again, this was a very last minute exploration. And I do kind of want to apologize. I know on the channel, I don't do a lot of urban exploration in Maine. Of all of the states in New England, all six states, Maine is definitely the state I've urban explored the least. That's not necessarily, there's not necessarily a negative reason why I love Maine. I just feel like there's not a lot of abandoned spots that are easy to find out about. I'm sure there's a lot of abandoned places in Maine. I just don't personally know many of them. I know way more spots in the other five New England states. But unfortunately, Maine, I don't know many about. Or they're just really far up. I mean, consider how large Maine is, especially compared to the other states in New England. It's a relatively small region. And Maine is the massive exception. So I'm hoping with this one, I start to see more abandoned spots in Maine. If you know any, I'm always open to hearing about cool spots. I really wonder what this is. This looks like some sort of power supply. Oh, is that the river? Yeah, right below us, that's the, that's the river, Presumpt Scott River. <laughs> Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, I can't tell what this was. I definitely do think it was some sort of power supply. Whether it uh, produced steam or electricity, I don't know. Again, I'm not a expert on industrial equipment and utility. But that's kind of my guess. This does look like a utility room. All right, let's head in here, see what's going on. I think this is the room that overlooks the river. All right, I'm gonna be very quick here, but I just wanna show you guys this. Right now we're standing right over the river. You can see the river flowing right underneath the, uh, the mill, Keddy Mill. And then here's another portion of the mill. Check this out. This is the portion we've seen time and time again, you know, through the windows. This I'm sure was also some sort of power supply. I mean, you can kind of see it right over there. I think those are some transformers. So definitely a power section that harness energy for the mill. Yeah, pretty fascinating. I wonder if we'll be able to get in there. I haven't really seen a way to get in. I'm gonna try my best, but just wanna show you guys that. So I gotta sneak my way back through this hole and let's keep on looking through the basement. Making our way down the basement. This place is absolutely massive. A lot of ice though. I did mention at the beginning, this is a very moist and damp location. There's like water trickling down from every single spot, every crevice. And I'm sure that water is not pure. Huh, this is a weird room. I was wondering what this was. Again, I think the basement was mostly for utility or power. So I'm sure a lot of what we're seeing was for those very reasons. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of industry down here. I don't think manufacturing went on down here. Or maybe it did, who knows. But I, I, I have a feeling personally that it was upstairs where most of that happened. Of course, uh, what's a mill or a factory without pallets? See those everywhere. And a lot of, uh, a lot of moss too, that's, that's always a given. 
Cool, got some more dope graffiti here. Shout out to all these graffiti artists. I know in the world of urban exploration, graffiti artists, uh, they get both love and hate. And uh, definitely the ones who do shitty graffiti should get hate. <laughs> I'm talking about stuff like just drawing a dick or writing really offensive and disgusting things. But you know, stuff like this, I respect, I love it. I wanna see more of it. I think it's cool. It's almost like an environment enhancer. Yeah, a lot of cool work here. Shout out to these guys who uh, made all this stuff. If you're watching, this is some firework. Damn, this place is huge. I don't know how many more times I can say that. This is a much bigger place than I expected. Really did not expect Keddy Mill to be this big. And frankly, it kind of trumps the other abandoned spot that I had in store for today. It was another abandoned spot much further north up in Maine. Didn't work out, which was kind of sad. It was a spot I was very excited for. But it is what it is. And uh, brought us here. Okay, this I'm really interested about. Some huge machine right here. Again, you know what to do. Comment down below if you know what this is. But we got some huge industrial equipment right here. No clue what this was. This is definitely the biggest one I've seen in the uh, factory so far. I don't know, my assumption is that most of the stuff here worked with sheet metal or steel, scrap metal, you know, that kind of stuff. I assume most of the equipment here was for that. Very cool, very cool. So I believe these stairs up here head back to the uh, basement level that we started off near. I think that's the last portion of the building we haven't seen yet. I'm gonna head over there and then I think we'll do a final walkthrough. And yeah, that was my visit of Keddie Mill. Really cool so far, I'm really liking it. So I actually decided I'm gonna head outside really quick. I want to show you some exterior shots cause haven't really done that yet. So uh, we're currently outside of the mill right now. You can see this is uh, one part of the main area we started. This right here is the portion we were just in. This whole section is the basement level. So that's where we just were. That's where I just came from. That's the basement level. So basically to give you a uh, perspective, basement level here, ground floor up there, upper floor all the way over there. No upper floor here. This is all ground floor. So basement, ground floor, upper level all the way over there. Yeah, huge mill. This is the exterior right here. And then I think we're going to head inside here. This is the last main room we haven't thoroughly explored yet. And there's a large grand opening right here, which again leads me to believe that I'm sure trucks probably came here. You can see remnants of a road, a concrete road. They probably came in, loaded, unloaded, that kind of stuff. Well, let's see what's going on. Looks like kind of your standard room. A lot of oil drums lying around, a lot of scrap metal. That's actually where we started earlier today. That's where the introduction was, right up there. Oh, and that actually down there is the basement that we could see through the floor. There were a lot of cracks and holes in the floor. This is the basement level, which we haven't seen yet. So maybe we'll do that first. Yeah, let's do that. Basement right here. Oh, I love all these poles. It looks so cool. Or support beams, I mean, <laughs> not poles. You know, as I walk around this building, I'm just imagining what it must have been like, you know, during the heyday of this place when production and operations were progressing. I mean, imagine how loud this mill must have been. Imagine how loud Keddy Mill was during peak operations. You probably had so much machinery going off, a lot of workers rabbling and talking. I'm sure this was a very loud place. I'm also sure it uh, was very smelly with all the oil and smoke and steam and chemicals. I gotta say, it's not that smelly right now, but I'm sure at the time it was. Uh, it's so cool, look at that. They got a Mario level right there. <laughs> That's dope. It's me, Mario. Sorry, had to. Let's, uh, let's peek through here. I got my trusty flashlight with me, but it doesn't seem like it's doing much justice. Just a bunch of junk though, just a bunch of random debris. I'm curious what this is though. I see a, a weird machine in the distance. I kinda wanna check that out. What is this?
No clue. Isn't that the theme of today? No clue. All right, let's uh, keep heading down here. Keep winding around the mill. All right, I just want to peer around these corners and see what's going on. I think this just brings us back to the uh, other basement level we were in. Yeah, these are the stairs that I was looking at earlier. I didn't go up them, but yeah, these are the stairs that lead to the other basement level where we just were. Uh, and then this, of course, heads outside to the other side of the entrance. I'm not going to go all the way out here, but this is the other entrance. But I think that's really about it, though, for the basement, to be honest. So I think the last couple rooms we have to see are right up there, which I'll walk to right now. All right, let's see what's in here. These are the last couple rooms, I believe. Ah, pretty cool. A little more of the same, but still pretty cool. Another huge, massive room. Orcas. A lot of cool graffiti. I do have to say, you know, Keddy Mill has some of the dopest graffiti I've seen, like, anywhere. I feel like on a lot of places it's very hit or miss, but I gotta say, Keddy Mill here in Windham, Maine, a lot more hits. I do genuinely think this is some of the best quality graffiti I've seen, like, like, I, basically what I'm saying is the ratio of good graffiti to bad graffiti is much higher. So I'm very impressed. And then we have this, uh, this huge pile of stuff in the middle. Not sure what this is, but it does look like at one point there were some huge machines here that have since been uh, removed. So basically much of this mill has been gutted. Mo most of it is empty. And that's kind of a common theme with most abandoned mills that I explore. They're usually gutted by the time I get to them. I've never explored an abandoned factory or mill that was completely full of stuff. Never. It's extremely rare. I think the only way you could find a mill that has everything left behind is if you go there, like, right after it closes. All right. I think that about does it, guys. I think that's pretty much it for Keddy Mill here in Windham, Maine. That was such a dope building to explore. Had a lot of fun. And again, I cannot stress enough how dangerous this place is. Uh, if you're interested in checking this place out, please just stick to my video. I think that's the safest possible way. And as I said, this probably won't exist much longer. So who knows by the time you see it, I might not be around anymore, but rightfully so, to be honest, this is a very hazardous, toxic place. Just wanted to check these out really briefly. Huh. Got some weird uh, fuse boxes right here. Yeah, pretty cool though. This was uh, Keddy Mill. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. I've been J-Mass as always, and this has been another dope New England adventure. You know, I had a lot of fun exploring Keddy Mill. That was a really cool abandoned exploration. Um, as I mentioned, you know, this was a very last minute exploration. I didn't have Keddy Mill planned at all, but did a bit of research, found out about it, and I knew I had to make my way over here, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a pleasure to explore. But yeah, that was Keddy Mill here in uh, Windham, Maine. Um, basically, it opened up in 1875 and over the next couple decades produced many different things. Uh, wood, paper, but it's most known for being a metal and steel manufacturer, working with a lot of steel products. And that happened throughout much of the early to mid 20th century. That's what Kitty Mill is most known for. But unfortunately, by 1997, Kitty Mill closed down and it's been completely abandoned ever since. But, you know, if you take a closer look and you look at all the uh, decades of manufacturing, it produced a lot of chemical waste, a lot of toxic, hazardous, dangerous chemicals. And that's why the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, has designated this a Superfund site, not fit for humans to access. I'm a human. I'm accessing it. Don't do as I do. Seriously, don't come here. Very dangerous. But yeah, that was my, my second super fun site on the JMS YouTube channel. Uh, Keddy Mill here in Windham, Maine. Had a lot of fun exploring it. This thing is super old, super decrepit, but again, a pleasure to explore. If you guys love abandoned exploration, you know, checking out abandoned sites, uh, exploring and traveling New England, I'm always doing that on the channel, so feel free to subscribe. Or you can follow me on Instagram, at jmassofficial. That's at jmassofficial. But I've been JMass as always. This has been Keddy Mill in Windham, Maine, a super fun site with a lot to see. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. You know, I can't play this song on YouTube because of copyright issues, but just imagine as I walk through this hazardous wasteland, uh, the song Toxic by Britney Spears playing right now. <laughs> you know what I mean?
You're toxic, I'm slipping under. Uh, I'll give you guys a disease review in 50 years.